Hello, welcome. My name is Carlito and I'm an LA-based freelance cinema road operator. Over the next few videos, follow along as we go through the unboxing and setup uh, of this little guy, much like I would one of the larger cinema robots. My goal is to be able to make this little robot have everything that I could potentially need with the hopes of not only using it in professional shoots, uh, potentially, but also for my own personal work, which has nothing to do with uh, commercial film. It's actually in medicine. I'm a physician and I use the cinema robots to um, shoot surgical content. All these years I've been waiting for a small enough and safe enough package controlled by proper cinema robot operation software so that I can easily take into an operating room. This is finally the place where we could have the best of both worlds and be able to do that. So I jumped into the motorized position Evo as soon as I could. So I figured this would be a good opportunity to uh, have a camera on and just have you as either a robot enthusiast or as somebody who is just going into their first robot, whether it is the Evo by motorized position or a different robot, go through the process with me. You know, I'll be making a lot of decisions that are from my experience with larger robots and that may be useful to somebody who has never worked with robots as to why I'm making the decision for this loom right here, why I'm making the decision for this base, why this cart, like all these are things that if somebody's coming in to uh, motion control without experience, they may find useful. There is not a lot of content like that um, uh, on YouTube, so I figured this would be a good opportunity to walk you guys through that. So like and subscribe to follow along as we progress with this build up. When you buy this robot, it will not come on this hard case. I paid extra for it. It's an extra, I think it's like $900. It's nice because it, it has the, uh, the foamed that fits the robot perfectly. The robot was actually delayed by, I don't know, 10 days, I think, just because the uh, case was delayed. So I know there's some people who've received the robots, you know, in, in just a box, but I thought it was uh, easier to hold for this package. It was useful. However, once I received it, I did notice that it was a little bit banged up. One of these guys was broken. I don't know if it, it'll show up. I think so. This was bent. They took a couple hits back here. There's some dents down here. So in terms of travel, I do keep that in mind because it was delivered by UPS. And I trust the UPS guys a little bit more than I trust luggage uh, kids on the airport. So I would expect the airport travel to be a little bit more banged up. So I don't know about the longevity of this guy. Uh, it'll be interesting to see. But I, you know, even for like traveling and taking in my car as I did when I brought it here, it's perfect, I think. Cool. Well, let's get to uh, opening it up. Okay, here's the moment. Beautiful, beautiful. So it does have a foam back here, which is nice. It, oh, okay, good. All right, so uh, it's very nice. As you can see, it's the foam is very nicely, uh, you know, um, made for the shape of the robot, which is very nice. I love that the controller fits in here too. Uh, all of these robots have a brain, obviously. Uh, the larger the robot, the larger the brain, which is something annoying, obviously, <laughs> with a big uh, robot, that for a robot like the Colossus, which is back there, when you talk about the brain for the Colossus, you're talking about a big cabinet. So, you know, you're talking about transportation, dealing with renting a truck and whatnot, not just because the robot itself is large, but also the brain. So the fact that the brain fits in the same case is fucking amazing here. So I see that I got some, um, some literature directly from the company, which of course, uh, like any good uh, person, I'm not gonna read, uh, at least not at this point. It's got some motorized precision uh, checklist. 
was checked by Sean himself, CEO of Motorized Precision, which is very nice to uh, see. And he went over everything that should be here. So beautiful. Uh, ship date, May 2nd, and it is now, what, May 8th? Yeah, so it's six days or something. Okay, so we'll see what we have here. So we have, uh, can I get, can I get the, um, the scissors and stuff? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So, let's see what we have here. So I assume this is gonna be, okay, so it's got an ethernet cable. Obviously I'll be grabbing a much larger cable. Okay. This is for data from the robot. We have um, power is my guess for the robot brain and communication or data for the brain is what this, I would guess this is what that is. So three cables, right? Uh, there's more packaging here, so I'll go with that. I'm just gonna open everything I need to open. Oh, okay, quite a few things. What is this? Oh, I know what this is. I think this is the, um, it comes with a, um, table mount. So this is what this is gonna be, yep. So these are the clamps to mount it onto a table. And there's a lot of uh, oil on them and whatnot, or grease. Uh, yeah, this is the grease from them, but this is what it is. I don't foresee myself mounting it onto a table, at least for my own personal use. Um, but, you know, being that it's so small, if you're shooting product or something, maybe it would be useful to mount it to the table, uh, perhaps. Uh, and here is the other clamp. I think this is what the other clamp is. It would use two clamps to to mount. Yep, to mount onto the table. That's what these are called, right, uh, Tom? C clamps. Yeah, C clamps. Yeah. Uh, one of these keys here, uh, and then this is. Oh, here we go. I also bought. When you buy this robot, you'll get the robot, the brain. And if you pay a little bit extra, you will have the camera mounting that you'll see that I did pay for. And also the mount, the Mitchell mount that we'll use to mount onto, um, in this case, our base or our tripod. It's a Mitchell mount, that's extra. It does include, I think the price does include the table mount. And this is what that is. You'll put the robot here, put it on the table and then use those C clamps to keep it on the table. That's what this is. Here's some screws and here's um, the key. I um, have a few add-ons onto this robot. One is the uh, focus unit. I bought a three channel. They you recommend the cheapest option for this is the one channel. However, I personally thought that with a short arm, I would benefit from having zoom as well uh, and making a little bit more use of zoom that I would normally on a larger robot. So I needed two channels, so I decided to uh, get the three channel uh, um, FIS, which is a lot more expensive, significantly more expensive. But more importantly, because again, I have access to larger robots, I decided to also get the gripper. I decided to also get the gripper, and here's the gripper, it's very nice. Um, it is white, I do wish that it was black so that it matched the uh, arm. That is one wish I, I have. Um, and it looks like it only has one connection. It probably just mounts to the robot and connects directly onto the port or that's here at the, at the head. I did uh, see this robot before. I did go to NAB where they were uh, presenting the robot. Um, and so I was able to see it before um, in action. So this is not my very first time seeing it. Uh, in fact, I wouldn't be surprised if this is probably one of the robots that was at NAB because um, this is one of the first ones to be shipped as well. So yeah, this is a gripper. It's very nice. Uh, I, I thought, it says not pneumatic, which is normally how grippers would work, right? This is more electric, clearly, so electronic. So we'll, we'll, we'll see. So it's very nice. Uh, the brain. Let me pull the brain out. Okay, let's see. Ah, oh, it doesn't weigh anything, dude. Can you imagine? This is the. This is nice. Wow, the stops. Switch is built into it. Yeah, the e-stop is here. Yeah, for sure. You can e-stop in here. It's very nice. Um, yeah, this e-stop is built. You know, compare this to even the Mia, you know, the KRC and the Mia, which, you know, we mounted onto the bottom of that cart is much larger than this. So this is very nice. I mean, it's, it's, it's super cool. And then, oh, I see there's something else here. No 
this is how I, this is how it went in. Yep, there we go. So the E stop. Uh, a little more precision gear, which is freaking cool. It says Evo as well. <laughs> it's a little uh, cleaning cloth, which is very nice. Microfiber cloth. Thank you very much. And then the robot itself. Very nice. And I can see that it already has the Mitchell mount in here. So that's all that came here. Again, normally you would expect to not get it. In this case, that's an extra add-on that I got. And you wouldn't expect to have the gripper on. That's an add-on. I think everything else you would expect to get with a base, um, with a base package without the Mitchell mount and without the camera mount, which I already see that it's pre-installed on this. So this is uh, the unboxing experience. I think it's pretty cool. Smells new. I do see also that um, it's got some, uh, for those who are very picky, it's got some, um, not scratches, but you can see that some like fingerprint, I guess. And that comes with the nature of being a matte um, piece of equipment, you know. But I, 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 I take it. I love the black, so I'll, I'll take it that way. Cool. So I think we're ready to start mounting onto uh, the tripod. Cool. See you on the next one. Let's go. Thank you.